the second storage class of memory type that is global or external storage class where exactly the keyword external will be used and uh, when do I identify the variable as global variable why do I need these global variables to understand this let's take a simple example assume that I have a main function and I have a function say f1 now assume that this f1 is called somewhere in the middle of this particular main I want to declare a variable such a way that it will be used by main as well as by f. Suppose if I declare a variable as int a in main, this a can be used only in main but can't be used in f1. If I declare a in f1, it can be used only in f1 but it can't be used in main. So it means that a variable can be declared only at one place will not be used across multiple functions if it appears within the function. Now, why don't we declare the variable in such a way that it will be accessed across multiple functions. So what I'll do is, I'll define a variable as say int a above this particular main. Now this a is said to be a global variable. This a can be used in the main as well as in f1. Suppose if I have one more function say f2, f1, f2. Suppose if I declare variable as int b above this particular f2. And let's assume that f2 is called in this particular main immediately after f1. Now, is this b a global variable? Yes, b is again a global variable because the declaration of b never appears within a function. If a variable is declared at one place such that it will be accessible to multiple functions, we call that as a global variable. That is the definition. Now, let's understand the life and scope of this particular variable. Life of such variable always starts with the program and ends with the program. So A starts with main and ends with main. B starts with main and ends with main. So life of the variable starts with the program and ends with the program. What is the scope or visibility? Scope or visibility is to all the functions which appear after the declaration. So after this particular declaration, what all are the functions which appear? A, after declaration of A, there is a function called as main, there is a function called as F1, there is a function called as F2. So A is accessible within a main, within F1, within F2. B is declared after main and F1. So it means that B is visible only to F2 or to all the functions which appear after this particular F2. So global variables are visible to all those functions which appear after the declaration. That is about the concepts of global variable. So life scope. Now let's understand a keyword called as external. Now such you will not find this particular keyword external used in a single file program. Suppose assume that I have declared int c over here and this particular c is used in f1 as well as in f2. So if I put a keyword external int c it means that this particular c is of type integer and external makes it assured that this particular declaration has occurred at some place and all these variables which I have said as global they are all having an initial value as 0. In a single file environment you will never be able to experience this external keyword. Now let's see about the keyword external in a multi-file programming environment. Assume that I have a program say p1. I'll, I'll say this as p1.c. I have used int a over here. I have main. I have F1, I have F2, all those functions. I have A declared in P1.C. Now, let's link this particular P1.C and create a project. Let's link this particular program to one more file called as P2.C. Now, this P2.C wants to access A. Now, this P2.C is not an independent program. It is a part of the program called as P1.C. Some functions are going to be written in a p2.c and this p2.c is linked with the p1.c and wants to use the same a. If I put one more declaration as int a, what happens? A new variable by name a is created for a file called as p2.c. But you don't want to create a new variable, you want to use the same variable which has been declared in the linked file. So in that case what I can do is, I can just say extern int a. What that indicates now? how extern int a declaration behaves. When extern int a is written, this says that this a has to be treated as a variable of type 
integer which is declared in some part of the program which is linked with this particular program. The one which is linked is p1.c. So there is not any new variable created and there will not be any storage space allocated for this particular a. So it means that when a variable is supposed to be used across multiple programs, you can do it once and use multiple functions. So in a multi-file programming, probably you will be experienced much better about the keyword external. Now as far as your course count is goes, we don't have multi-file programming, hence we will not use this particular external keyword for your reference. So just remember, if they ask, describe the external keyword, in that case you are supposed to explain the concepts of external keyword with multi-file programming. Because when a multi-file programming environment goes, if one program has got say thousands of variables, if the second program is going to use the same thousands of variables, if I redeclare all those thousand variables one more time, what happens? A set of new memory is created, you are going to waste a good amount of memory, rather than that I can use the same memory which has been allocated in the previous program and all those thousand variables are accessible. So XN keyword will definitely save a lot of memory when it comes to multi-file programming environment. So let's look at the definitions, the scope or visibility, the life and other concepts of this particular global variable. Let's deal with this particular local variable. So now, these are the terms which are described for a global variable. So as the definition says, a variable which can be used in multiple functions without declaring in any other function is said to be a global or external variable or external function. Scope or visibility available to all the functions which are defined after the variable declaration. Life starts with the program and ends with the program. Keyword external initial value is 0. Now, can you make a wild guess with this particular output? Check that. You can take a pause and then have this particular output here. P is declared as global. P is set with 10. Call this F1. So P is global, which is 10. When F1 is called, it goes to this place. P goes to P plus 10. So 10 plus 10 is 20. Print FP. Display output as 20. When the function ends, P, will it be destroyed? No. When we come back, we'll display this particular P as 20. So on the next line, you'll get 2020 as the output. So if you got this particular output, well and good. If not, take a pause, dig into this particular program and verify this particular output. That is about the concepts of global or external variables. Thank you.